All right, guys, what is up? Ryan from Elevate Cyber here. And uh, I just had a quick tool spotlight for you guys. Now, if you are one of the OGs to my content, like way back in the day, you might have remembered a tool that I highlighted as a recommended tool for OSCP called Reconnoiter. Well, I have a newer, better version of this nowadays that I found called Auto Recon. I know it's really popular, so a lot of you guys probably already know about it. Um, but, you know, there might be some of you that have not heard of this tool, or maybe you have and you just haven't used it yet. Uh, it's an excellent, excellent tool. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit here. Uh, within a VM, it is kind of tricky. Oh, uh, here we go. That should be more readable now. But yeah, Auto Recon, basically, it was created by uh, this guy, Tiberius. And uh, he has some pretty amazing Udemy courses on privilege escalation, just as a aside. Um, both for Linux and Windows. He has both of those. And uh, I, I got them both, actually. And currently, I'm working through his Linux Privilege Escalation Udemy course. It's been extremely good so far. A lot of the tricks I did know already, but there are definitely some that I, I didn't know about. And I'm learning a ton from this course. So any of you guys enrolled in the OSCP, I, I would definitely have to recommend his Udemy courses. So check them out if you uh, want a little bit of extra knowledge tools to your tool belt when it comes to privilege escalation. But onto this tool, he basically, he created this tool because Tiberius actually, he has the OSCP himself. And back when he was going for it, uh, he used Reconnoiter actually. And he also used a couple other tools. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, they're ones that I haven't personally dabbled with, but obviously, you know, you know, my content, I, uh, I did dabble with Reconnoiter and it was very helpful uh, when I was going for OSCP uh, back in, what was that, 2019 now. But basically, the reason he created this tool was, although he liked Reconnoiter, there were certain limitations that had things that it didn't have. So he would have to use like three, two or three different tools to do what he wanted to do. So basically, he made this as a better version of that. If you're not familiar with Reconnoiter, it was also like an auto recon, or, uh, auto -recon tool, if you will. Basically, he just took that, he made it better. That's what you need to know. And so, he even it even uh, mentions it here, Reconnoiter, Recon Scan, and B-Scan. Uh, I have heard of B-Scan. I haven't used that, but... But yeah, basically what it what it's able to do, and I'll, I'll show you here in a second, but you can grab it off of GitHub completely for free. Uh, but basically, it will automatically run all your NMAP scans for you. And it will... Based off of the services that it sees running, it will automatically uh, enumerate those services for you as well. And, uh, you know, it will use curl, enum for Linux, GoBuster, NBT scan, Nikto, Nmap, 161, you know, all these different, all these different enumeration tools, depending on, you know, if, if it sees that port open or not. And so this is extremely important. In OSCP, your time is limited, right? Obviously, if you're very new to this stuff, learn how to use these commands first, by all means, before you just start uh, implementing this tool in your uh, in your practice. But once once you have a basic understanding, you've done these things before, use this tool on OSCP. Definitely by the time you get to the exam, use it because while it seems like you have a lot of time, 24 hours, you would be surprised how fast time goes by. Uh, especially when you get stuck on the many rabbit holes that exist on these boxes. So you want to automate your recon as much as possible so that you can put more energy, effort, and time into what is actually important. That is finding those vulnerabilities, exploiting it, and getting those flags, right? And so that is exactly what this tool allows you to do. You don't have to be you know, weighed down with all the recon. You can have it automated so that is why, you know, don't even bother writing your own tool when something uh, as nice as this exists. Just utilize this. So if you see here, uh, let's see, if I want to run this, let me let me go on my other screen here. I'm going to launch a hack the box machine so that we can test this out. I'm currently connected to the HTB network, as you can see here. So if we go ahead and... We'll fire up uh, one of the machines here. Maybe I can pick something that doesn't have, probably won't have too many 
services running. We'll, we'll fire up a lame. I don't think there was too much running on that box. So we'll give that a second to, uh, to fire up. And let's just take a look at the options while we're waiting, right? So what I did is I added it to the path so I can just run auto recon from anywhere. Uh, that's something that you can do in your... There, there's many ways to do it, but I, I put in my bash RC file. Uh, I'll, I'll make a video to show you guys how to do that uh, pretty soon here. I won't cover that here, but just know that's what I've done. So I can run it anywhere. It's in my path, essentially. And so if you look here, right, you can see the basic arguments. Now, this can be run very simply by just auto recon and then the IP address. So there's different ways that you can use that. And you can actually even, even support a lot more options like... Uh, you can pass it a number of targets, which I thought was cool. If I remember correctly, when it came to reconnoiter, it was like it was more of a you know fire at one target at a time. This supports multiple targets very easily, which is something that I do really like about the tool. So just imagine like being in the OSCP exam situation where you know there's five boxes you're going after. The exam starts. What I would do immediately is uh, make a file of all those IP addresses listed in a single file. And then, you know, use a dash T uh, option with that file and it'll automatically auto recon, start your auto recon scans on all five of those servers at the same time. And then while I'm waiting on those to complete, I would just go work on my buffer overflow box. So that's a little bonus tip for you guys, how I would recommend uh, using this tool uh, in an exam environment, right? And so, you know, you have a number of different options. We're just going to, for right now, uh, just start off with it very basic. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can connect to that box now that we've given it a little bit of time here. We can. So, uh, what what I could do is I, I like to make a directory with the name of the box. So, oh shoot, I probably already have this one, don't I? Let me Let me just check to see. Uh, yes, I do. And so instead, I'm just going to call it lame too. Just so I don't override anything, right? And so CD into, oops, not there, but we'll CD into lame too. And from here, I would just fire off auto recon on that IP address, just like this. And now you see it's color coordinated too, uh, or color coded, I should say, which makes it very easy on the eyes, very easy to read and to see the important information. So it's just going to scan the target and, you know, very simply start off with a, uh, with a quick scan and then the top 20 UDP. That is a nice improvement over reconnoiter. If you guys uh, are familiar with that tool is it would run UDP, not on the top 20 ports, but on everything. And if you have ever ran UDP scans before, you'll know that they take a lot longer to complete than TCP scans, just the nature of the protocol. Uh, so it's nice that they just scan the top 20 UDP ports. Because uh, normally in these CTFs, uh, you don't have to worry about any obscure UDP ports anyways. And so this is going to cover most of your bases. And if you need to run uh, full scan or more ports on that, and then you can always do that uh, yourself. But this is going to cover you in most of the bases. The nice thing about this tool is it was written specifically for OSCP. Specifically. So that is really nice, right? If you if you read the readme file here, it says that it is intended as a time-saving tool for use in CTFs and other penetration testing environments, e.g. OSCP. May also be useful in real-world engagements. Yeah, I could see how that would be the case. Look, we come back here. This moves pretty quick, too. It seems to be a lot faster than Reconnoiter, which is something that I like. But you see, it found, it'll, it'll list in purple what it found. So we got you know, port 445, 139. So that's a nice thing, right? With that reconnoiter, I would have to go into the file and look at a certain file to see. Now I can just see it straight up from here as it's going. So I can, you know, I don't even have to go into these files until after it's done if I don't want to, you know? And so I could have another window where, uh, okay, let's, let's go in here and now let's start looking at the more detailed information as well. Um, oops slightly off on that. We'll come in here. And and this is the kind of directory structure that you have 
you have results. And this is this part's pretty similar to reconnoiter. You'll have three different folders, exploit, loot, or four actually, exploit, loot, report, and scans. So that's the kind of way they have things structured. I, I like things like that. It's pretty easy to, uh, to keep things organized and have it standard across all of your, uh, the boxes that you're... See, if you see here, right, it found these ports open and automatically started running enumeration for this stuff. So SMB, that's a popular one, right? Not sure if this completed yet, but let's see if we could just take a look at that. So you're even able to see, you know, what it did, right? It ran Nmap with uh, these Nmap uh, scripts here. And so that could even help you just in general... Uh, with your own enumeration and getting better at your own manual enumeration as well. Let's check something that might have completed already. Um, maybe maybe FTP perhaps did. Yeah, so FTP, uh, that uh, extra enumeration scanning there has completed already. And you see the output here. Oh, VS FTPD, right? We know that's vulnerable uh, to that uh, backdoor uh, command execution, right? And you also see anonymous FTP is allowed. And so, boom, we have a, we can, we can root this box from here, right? This is meant to be a pretty easy system uh, to root. But yeah, you also have like separate files for the different enumeration tools that it used, right? Like SMB client, enum for Linux. Let's take a look at SMB client, see uh, what we might have for that, right? And so, really, really useful. It's automatically doing all these things for you. And one of the things of the limitations of OSCP, they don't let you automate your exploiting right away. So what this thing can actually do is suggest you exploits, right? Uh, it won't break the rules of the OSCP using this. You can use this on OSCP and people do use it. Uh, but yeah, what they, and, and there is an option to have it automatically run the exploits. Now, if you do that, they even say that on the, on the site here. If you do that, you know, it's not allowed for OSCP, so you're breaking exam rules. So don't do that if you're using this in the OSCP environment, obviously. Uh, but if you're using it outside of that, maybe that's something, like on a CTF, maybe that's something you want to do. Uh, but it, it will recommend you exploits as well. So if we, if we come back here, uh, we can even see a log of the commands. This is really cool. Really cool stuff. There's a lot of value from this thing here. So if you really want to break down into, okay, what was it actually doing? And this is, can be a, a good tool to learn how to get better at enumeration uh, yourself, as I was saying here. But just going back to here, it'll, it'll do this. It'll even tell you how many tasks are still running until it's going to be complete. And so it's very easy to track this thing every step of the way, see what's, uh, what's open, and then automatically just start, you have all of this recon at your fingertips that you can just start diving into, you know, enumerate, like enumerating more and more just by, you already have the scan data there. You're just sifting through the data, finding the stuff you need and uh, going from there. So extremely useful time-saving tool, in my opinion, if you are going for OSCP, uh, even if you're not, you might still want to check this one out. But uh, that's pretty much uh, what I would say here. If you want to learn more about OSCP and some of the commands that you can run, not just for recon, but also for privilege escalation, for file transfers, for all kinds of different stuff, check out the link in the description below for my OSCP and pen testing notes, a culmination of the last five years for me. And uh, that'll be absolutely for free. You can get it down there at the link below. And also I would say that if you are interested in learning more about this pen testing stuff, definitely check out the linked videos right over here. Uh, no, here, it's faking me out. It's on the viewfinder. It's in one direction on, <laughs> on my OBS is on the other. So right over here, check out these videos if you're interested in learning more about this space. And I will see you right over in that video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already hit the like button as well to help get this message out there for people who might need to know about this tool. And I will see you guys in the next video.